Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joshua or Composite C1. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick tip video on how to recover your lost AVI files through a CamRec recording project file. Uh, the whole reason for this quick tip video is let's say you've been recording a video from your screen and you have a lot of time put into it and you go to save it and you accidentally save it as a CamRec project file and you don't want that. You don't want to have to go through and re-render however long it took you to do the video and you just want a quick AVI with no cursor. So that's what I normally do for my uh, speed art videos if you guys haven't noticed I don't ever put the cursor in it because I don't want to go and re-render out a whole hour and a half long video. So that's what this whole purpose of this tutorial is going to be is to save you a lot of time. So what we have right here is just a uh, three minute video of a uh, past tutorial I did that I accidentally saved as a CamRec uh, project file. What we're going to do is we're just going to double click and open it into the Camtasia Studio application. And instead of taking our file and putting it into track one and producing and sharing, we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to Extract CamRec Component. Uh, for this tutorial, I already have a uh, folder saved on my desktop. So I'm just going to go to that really quick. I already have it named Tutorial. We go to make a new folder to put our project uh, exportation uh, files into. I'm just going to name it recovered document. Just like that and then hit OK. And since this was a really small file, I already have it rendered up because my computer is pretty fast. So uh, as you see, this was the original um, file that we had open at the beginning of the video. And now we have our recovered document file. We have all these cursors which we do not need so you can just delete those. And then now we have our AVI file with no cursor, but we didn't have to spend the three, five, whatever minutes rendering it out. And so yeah, that's just a helpful tip for uh, if you have like a really long recording and you didn't want your cursor and you accidentally saved it and you do not know how to get it back. So uh, thank you again for checking out this video. I hope it saved you some time, saved you from some frustration, maybe throwing your keyboard halfway across the room. But if it did help you at all, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Favorite it if you accidentally uh, don't remember how to do it. Be sure to favorite the video. It always helps out. Anything you guys do to be active on our channel really does help, and we appreciate it tremendously. So thank you again. This has been Joshua, or Composited C1, and I'm out.